The firefighter work is magical, we know that, and so does uh, another local guy who knows that word magic awfully big. Uh, he's like the king of Las Vegas for many years and had his own theater out there, as a matter of fact. Prepare to be dazzled and mystified. Ladies and gentlemen, we give you Kentucky's own Lance Burton. Hi folks, I'm Lance Burton, Master Magician. I am speaking to you from my farm down in Adair County. I am so excited to be a part of the WHAS Crusade for Children. I have a couple of clips to show you. They were both filmed at the Kentucky Center for the Arts back in 1999, 21 years ago, as part of a television special. Uh, this first clip is called The Bottle and Glass Trick. So enough talking, enjoy the magic. Wonderful to be here. You know, it's great doing magic in a beautiful theater, like the one we have here at the Kentucky Center for the Arts. I didn't always have a nice place to do my magic. I started working nightclubs when I was 17 years old. Worked a lot of dives, a lot of unsavory type places. Uh, you know, Frank Sinatra always considered himself to be a saloon singer. Let's drink to the magic and the mystery of you. I guess that makes me a saloon sorcerer. There's so many choices in life, you see. Now, no matter how successful Sinatra got, he always included a saloon song in his concerts. One day your glass is empty, the next day. With that in mind, I'd like to show you the ultimate saloon magic trick. It seems you always disappear from me. This is called the bottle and glass trick. The idea is very simple. It's to make the glass go from this side of the table to this side of the table, and to make the bottle go from this side of the table over to... <laughs> Sorry, folks, I seem to have packed too many bottles. I'll have to start over. Uh, it's called the bottle and glass trick. Uh, the, I, you know, I should explain, uh, when you're doing magic with breakable things like bottles and glasses, you always need to have extras around backstage in case of accidents. That's why we had an extra bottle. Uh, the idea of the trick is very simple. It's to make the bottle go from this side to this side and the glass go from this side to this side. You can't touch them though. That's why you have the two tubes. All you do is snap your fingers and they change places. Yep, it worked. <laughs> That's the easy part. The hard part is to make them go back. I should explain this trick works better if the audience has consumed the contents of the bottle before you start. If you're sober, you don't believe me when I tell you it's very easy to make them change places. It's very difficult to make them go back. <laughs> Just remember, tube number one always goes over the bottle. Tube number two, <laughs> sorry folks, I seem to have packed too many bottles. Tube number two goes over the glass, which becomes a bottle. The bottle becomes a glass. Number one covers the bottle. Number two, too many bottles. Number two covers the glass, which becomes a bottle. The bottle becomes a glass. Frank Sinatra would have loved that trick. You know, if Sinatra had done this trick, I'll bet he could do it with just one tube. The glass becomes a bottle, the bottle becomes a glass. If you do it that way, though, I should point out, you do have to have an extra bottle, which the audience is unaware of. Bottle, glass, glass bottle, as long as you have an extra <laughs> bottle hidden away. Oh, it'll work with either tube. Makes no difference as long as you have an extra bottle hidden away. Oh, I know, you think I can't do the trick unless I use two bottles. I'll prove I can do the trick with just 
one bottle. I'll mark the bottle with the little yellow handkerchief. Now you can tell that bottle apart from all the rest. And when the glass and the bottle change places, you'll know it's the same bottle. That's the easy part. The hard part is to make them go back. <laughs> well, if you do it that way, you need two extra bottles. When you see a bottle in a glass, you always hear a toast. Till then, I guess I'll buy another ride. May the good Lord take a liking to you, but not too soon. Thanks, Lance. You're marvelous. Simply marvelous. Sinatra lover. <laughs> thank you. You're very kind. Thank you. <laughs> well, thank you very much. The bottle and glass trick. I always loved that one. And by the way, that is not Frank Sinatra singing in that clip. That is my good friend Rick Michael, who is a Frank Sinatra impersonator back in Las Vegas. So thank you, Rick, for your contribution. Now, you know, folks, this last year we celebrated 100 years of sawing a woman in half. That's right. In the world of magic, magicians have been sawing women in half for over 100 years. And here's my take on it. You know, I've always been interested in the history of magic. Uh, back in the 1920s, there was an English magician. His name was P.T. Selbit. There's a name you've never heard of. I know you haven't heard of P.T. Selbit, but you have all heard of his trick. He called it sawing a woman in half. We're going to do it a little differently tonight. Uh, this is Tommy, and this is Julianne, and this is called sawing a couple into eight pieces. <laughs> this one. I got the wrong one. Those go on this side. The pink goes over here. You got them backwards. Pull them off. Marcia. I always liked that trick. I always liked uh, hearing the audience's reaction at the end. 
Well, folks, we hope you're enjoying watching the entertainment tonight. If you are, do me a favor. Pick up the phone right now. Call, make a pledge. You can go on the Internet, make a donation that way, whatever you're more comfortable with. Make a donation, then go on social media and post about it. Tell your friends. They should be watching the crusade right now. They should be helping out. Thank you very much for your attention. God bless you all, and God bless the great state of Kentucky.